Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. Yesterday I gave you a quick tip about one-way extubation in intensive care and what to do if your loved one is in a situation where the intensive care team is suggesting a one-way extubation. So go and check out the video from yesterday if you want to know more about that. But here is another tip today. If your loved one is in a situation where a one-way extubation is the right thing to do, then you should consider doing that at home because a one-way extubation, if it's the right thing to do, is often an end-of-life situation. And that may be uh, appropriate in some situations, right? And if you think it is appropriate after you've checked with us here at intensivecarehotline.com, then the next step is really to look at home care because you want to have end-of-life home care and not end-of-life care in intensive care. Now, after I have worked in intensive care for 20 years in three different countries, I have seen hundreds of families who wanted to have home care, palliative care, end-of-life care at home instead of intensive care, and that makes perfect sense. So if you want home care for end-of-life care, for one-way extubation or for any other end-of-life situations in intensive care, check out intensivecareathome.com. That's again intensivecareathome.com because there intensive care at home can provide end-of-life care and one-way extubation at home amongst many other situations at home for intensive care patients. So that's my tip for today. Check out intensivecareathome.com. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com and I'll talk to you in a few days.